Look at that. Well, that's, that's the little girl right there. Look at that big gray thing looking at me. Wild as a bat, but he's asking for food. Ugh. Let me, uh, is it cup in here? I just had to buy a, new, buy a bag of food. I was gifted some bags a while back, but they're gone. I just bought this yesterday. Listen to that. Emma. I put some in the bowl. That bowl's got water in it from the rain earlier, so I can't put any of that. So I pour down the steps. This spreads, look at her. See how hateful she is? But this spreads it out. So they can all eat. Um, Emma looks like she's been fighting. She's got some scars on her back. And she is a scrapper, so I don't know why. But she'll fight the boys. She'll, buy, she'll fight anybody. <laughs> I hear Molly. Gandy, right, uh, Rose Eye right there is just looking at them. I don't see Gandy. The other day I couldn't find Gandy. I told Mom as I was worried. She's the other gray one. Just like, just like Rose Eye right there. Solid gray. Oh, there she is. Oh, my gosh. She's right beside me. Ugh. Let me put this cup up. Call Molly up and give her some food. Come on, honey. Let's do some outside stuff. Lee, um, let's tell y'all something funny. Levi. See how I open the gate in the middle of the day? I don't open it early morning. About the middle of the day, I open it and let the chickens come out into the yard. But there are some little ones. Were y'all seen in the video the other night where that white one was running up and down the fence line? She finally jumped up on the fence, then up onto the post, and eventually made her way in. I did finally put her in the coop that night. But last night, there were two young ones running up and down that outside fence line and I couldn't, I caught one and put her in. The other one I couldn't catch, kept running from me. And this morning, guess what? Feathers scattered out, going out back, back that way. I'll show you all in a second. So this is what I've decided to do. I don't know if I've even said this already. Um, let me, let me, let me grab her some feed real quick. Hold on. I'm just going to leave this here for one second so I don't have to stop and start. Although y'all can't see anything right there. Let me try it here. And I can tell you right now that I will not be walking in front of the camera because right now I am in a skin tight summer dress just because it's lightweight and I was trying on seeing what I trying to decide what outfit I wanted to wear for the wedding so I sort of can I'm like in between on two different outfits so let me just say I ain't joking I look like overstuffed sausage that's what I look like that's as real as it can get I look cute from the shoulders up that's it this early there's that troublemaker right there look at her she's to knock one of the solar panels off the fence for those those three lights that the little fairy lights that I put in those three I don't know 
what you call them lamps. She's done got one of them just dangling over here because she won't keep her butt down off the fences. Even with one wing, she can she makes it. She jumped up, now she's going back the other direction. She's a weirdo. She does not know how to be a team player, so to speak. She doesn't know how to run with the chickens. She just doesn't know how. Because her flock, her pen mates, whatever you want to call them, were all killed. She was the only one not killed by them stray dogs from across the street over at Stephanie's. And before anybody gets mixed up, I'm not talking about Stephanie's chickens now. I'm talking about, you know, I don't know, six months ago, seven months ago, maybe, maybe longer. She's laying eggs already, so she's not... Yeah, it's longer, probably about eight or nine months ago. Takes them six months to grow up and start laying eggs. So, anyway, um, now I'm gonna get back to my story. What I This is what I wanna do. All that mess, I'm gonna try to see <coughs> if I can't make Minky's run shorter that's out there in the field and see if I can't hook it from this tree at a night. Okay, well, let me just remember, remind y'all that I haven't said anything to anybody. I haven't asked anybody to do it because the minute I do, if I ask Daniel or Lester, immediately it's going to be, I, why would you want a fence going at an angle? Why don't you just need a, you just need to square it all off, square it off. You know, they're all so weird about this squares, the angles and the you know, exact corners and all this stuff. But I want this fence to go away and this section of fence to go away to that post right there that's the corner of the chicken yard. And I want this fence to come just where it's at now, at the corner of the shed, but it's gonna go at an angle across there to that post right there to the chicken yard post, the corner. And then this little section is gone and this this all is gone, but it's just moved over. Um, then that'll give a wider spot. Plus that post right there needs to be dug out of the ground. I can't get it out. So if I hook a cable to this tree here, as high as I can, whatever would be a good height, and to the corner of the chicken house, right at the corner of the chicken house, Think about the, the length of this, that she would be able to keep anything from, she would, it would, everything would have a second thought before they crossed over. Not that I even think that she would do anything about it. I honestly don't. But, see, feathers, feathers. I tried to get her in, but I couldn't. I caught one, but couldn't catch her at all. It caught her there. It got her really good right here. And then there was a cluster of feathers right there. Okay. Okay. Hold on. You're going crazy. Come on, big girl. Okay. Don't don't run over me. Don't step on my toes. Come on. Go to your... <laughs> Dear Jesus, help me. Okay. <laughs> Stop. I don't know if y'all are zoomed out. I can't do anything. You're getting my rings. Now stop. <laughs> there. <laughs> Dad, gum. <sighs> She's something else. Let me get her feet. I said it right. Oh, give me a second, Molly. I got it. It's right here. Don't step on me. There you go. Oh, okay, there's our can. I'm gonna set this back right here and go back through the gate. Oh, them ducks are going in if I don't watch out. I feel like I'm zoom, I am. I couldn't make it zoom out a while ago. Her head was as big as Texas. Anyway, I think that would be a really good thing if I ran her line from there to this tree behind me and it would give her this whole area to run 
And so anything thinking about crossing out of them woods and that tree line, they're gonna get about to here and they're gonna think, Dadgum, what's that smell? Oh, there's a big dog. I I'm not going any closer. Hopefully that's a thought process because those few nights that I did put her here when I had a couple of chickens out and I was thinking, would something get a duck? The, the days after the one was injured and the one buff was killed, yeah, I, I put her out here and she didn't bother the ducks at all, which I didn't think she would bother anything because they're, these animals are all around her all day. The goats were around her when she was little, she was with them. And the chickens, when they all had their wings uh, intact, they would fly over and end up in her in her side yard up there with her. So it stormed today. She's up in her doll, up, up there right now. Um, and listen to this. It stormed. Um, when I left to go get the pellets for the pizza oven, I had turned on the sprinkler system in the garden. And then I thought, well, I'm only going to be gone a few, you know, 20 minutes to Cleveland, 20 minutes back, 10 or 15 minutes in the store. So that's a good gardening. That's a good watering. And it was, you know, it was it was sort of overcast, but it was uh, not sunny, just not pouring down sun on anything. And then about halfway to Cleveland, it started pouring on us, but I didn't know what we were getting here. But when I come home, everything was soaked. So we got that little bitty rain last night. And then we got a good soaking today. I don't know how long it rained here, because I said, like I said I was gone. And it only rained on me and Levi on our way to Cleveland for about five minutes, literally five minutes. But my, okay, so if y'all remember when Molly pulled out the cucumbers, look at that one, that is just the saddest thing. When Molly pulled out the cucumbers out of two of the boxes, two of the bags, I went to Vanny's in Cleveland and I got another ca ca case of cucumbers so this is this is them this is one here coming up and this is actually three one's big and then there's two small ones in there that have not really taken off yet this one poor thing this is ridiculous right here look i'm gonna tell you what i think happened i think that we were hit i think they were waterlogged Everything got waterlogged for those almost two solid weeks of rain every day. And then it went to heat and sun nonstop. And I think it shocked everything. Um, my cucumbers looked like crud. I pulled them all up and threw them to the goats, except for this one that was basically trying to hang on. And then these two, which have been sitting here now for almost a week, I completely took them away from out there and put them here where they weren't getting such, they're getting sun in the middle of the day up until a certain point when these trees give them shade, but they're not getting the straight up sun that was getting. But also, I think the squash did the same thing. I don't remember now, I know Steph has pulled up all of her squash. I think she says she had one or two plants still left. My squash look like looks like poop too. I'm it. I've picked squash until I I can't pick no more. Well, I mean I can pick. You know what I mean. I pulled them up yesterday. I haven't thrown them out yet. This one is just it's got a few flowers on it, but it's just that poor thing is laid over. That one looks still halfway good. That one still looks decent. There's a third one right there that looks this way this one's got flowers all over it still standing this one was laid all the way out there on the walkway and I pushed it back over in here um, so I still you can see I still have a lot of flowers I don't know how well y'all can see but there's still a lot of flowers on these squash plants But, um, they're just about gone. 
um, there's the tomatoes over there just sitting in, in grow bags that were in here, but was just completely, these were laid over. They weren't getting any sun, so I brought them out. Uh, I've got a bell pepper at the top of that one right there. I've got some of these little sweet, whatever those are right there. I picked a red tomato yesterday. It was almost red. I mean, it was green, but mostly red. Look, I've got some of this dead gum poison ivy growing up through here. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a weeder. Look at that mess. Um, I'm not a weeder. I need to be a weeder, but I'm not. Uh, with this rain, I can pull them out pretty easy. My tomatoes look awesome. I mean, I don't know if any of y'all want to pause and zoom in, but there are tomatoes. There's tomatoes all over these plants. I think those over there, I want to say those over there, there's two. <laughs> Steph gave me some tomato. Well, no, some of those might be those out there too. Anyway, I think I've got some of those green giant things that she had, those green, whatever they were called. Here's my grow bags that I pulled out. Anyway, there's just, there's all kinds of, and I was gonna do fried green tomatoes tonight for dinner, but I ended up eating two pizzas of that pizza, and I was only gonna eat one, but that was really good pizza. And Levi, I see a squash right there I need to pick. Levi said he was going to save those other four. There was four slices left. He was going to save them for tomorrow. And a couple of months ago, I heard him the microwave ding. I said, what have you got in the microwave? Look at them growing up above the net. I said, what have you got in the microwave? He goes, I'm going to eat these pizzas today. He like was like letting me know he's not saving them. He's just going to go ahead and eat them now. Guys. I'm not feeding you yet. I'm not feeding you yet. It is not time. I love the fact that these ducks have, what's the word, like flourished? You know, they've just, they've just lived so well out here when, you know, they're, they're wild ducks. I mean, I mean, they're not wild like they're going to, well, we're already south, but wherever they fly to in the winter time, that's not what these ducks are. But they're not the ducks that you've touched. They're not ducks that I raised in a cage and then, you know, with the chickens and put them out like these guys all were. Or her over there that hangs with the chickens all the time. Well, I think it's a boy anyway. Um, hi, Mary. Hi, baby girl. Oh, they're so mean to her. Gimli, 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 I, Gimli, leave her alone. Look at him. Sam, Sam, hey baby. Okay, Gimli, stop. You better be sweet. No, sir, I've got you. Be sweet. I know. Be sweet. I know. Be sweet. I just love the fact that even though they weren't raised um, in in the pen, you know, with baby chicks or even by themselves, they lived their life. Mama hatched them and brought them right to this pond, and they have lived their life in this pond. It's all they know. I don't know where that is that the black and white one I guess that's her I've never noticed her up close <laughs> that's my duck <laughs> I'm looking at that duck thinking I don't I don't know that duck I know my fingers off over here the way the camera is that duck from this angle I've never I honestly I've never noticed that she had that much white on her Oh my gosh, I thought that duck came from somewhere all of a sudden. Oh my word. All their buckets, I can't even give them feed until I dump all that water out of their buckets. 
All right, well, I am going to, um, I just wanted to walk around out here after the rain and I wanted to decide what exactly I'm gonna do. Frodo, what is it, Frodo? Let's see if we got an egg in here that they're gonna step on any minute. No, no egg. There may have been one, but there ain't one now. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, I had just a blue egg laying right over there the other morning. Look at this corn. This is from seeds. This is coming up from seeds. Seeds of the scratch that I've thrown out and corn is coming up in that fence line. That's too funny. Ugh. That got wet today. I hate that. Last night, when I knew it was gonna start, it was gonna possibly rain during the night. I didn't know how much we were gonna get, but that's open. And I have, well, that's what I use for her. I need to bring it out here. Um, these heavy, really thick uh, rubber feed bowls that you can get at Tractor Supply. I guess you can get them at Amazon and stuff too. This size right here that I just brought the food out to Molly with because I left her can right there this morning. This size right here fits perfectly over the top of those feeders. And which it wouldn't have mattered so much about um, the rain still would have gone and landed and laid in the ring around the bottom where the feet actually sits. You're not staying there tonight. You might as well just think about it. That's right. That's right. Get down, big boy. Did you hear him thump? He's so heavy. Um... It fits perfectly over the top of this, but this got rained on today. Look at it, it's just turned to mush in there. Okay. I gotta get that cleaned up. Anyway, this fits perfect like that over it. So I used to do that uh, when like the babies I've got little ones that were jumping up there that they would poop down in there and stuff like that. And then I, I had a wider one that would hang out this way. You know, that the, the diameter of it was wider than the bottom ring down there. Therefore, nothing, uh, it, it didn't get wet. At least not as wet. But I didn't do this today because I didn't know that we were going to be getting there. And last night I put it in here. See, this is open. Last night I had it up in here so it wouldn't get wet. Got old water in there. Dump that. Anyway, I had it in here last night. I'm going to put it back in here now. I'll dump that tomorrow. Ugh, it stinks. Feed stinks while well, it starts fermenting um, in the sun. Anyway, uh, okay, I'm eating. I didn't know we were going to get that downpour today. All right, I'm going to shut this down. Uh, let these guys, what are you doing? Don't even think about it. You're not a wild cat. You don't live out in the desert or in the jungle. Come here to me. Come here. Little girl, come here. Little girl! Crazy cat. Isn't it ridiculous? They'll get up on you and purr when they want to. And other times they act like they don't know you. Uh, get in there. Go to bed. Walk. Look at these two idiots. As I see all the chickens over here, so they're gonna go down here and stand by the fence and look at them. Go! There. All right. 
somebody suggested in the comments the other day, I don't remember who it was, I need to change the time on the door to close later since they're not all up. And I don't even think that's the problem. The problem that they just don't want to go in. Some of the, the, I just don't think the big ones want to go in with them little ones. And I'm not building a bigger chicken house just because the big chickens don't want to share with the little chickens. One day they'll be big chickens just like them. Oh, I was gonna get that. I broke these off. Look, they're hanging so low right here. And I cut them. This one's still hanging low. That little solar light's not getting, I mean, look at this canopy. There's barely any sun coming through. I've already got Remember when I was gifted those little flowers? I had them in that until that finally started coming up. That's those wild, uh, what are they? It's a what? look at her. Dear Lord, she's doing it again. You're not sleeping up there. She's sort of scary, ain't she? She's just like a chicken that would attack you if she, yeah. It's like the birds. I remember the movie, The Birds? We seen that when I was in junior high. They called us all to the auditorium and they played that on a big screen. I think it was two grades at a time. Maybe it was one grade at a time. I don't remember, but we, packed in that auditorium and watched the movie The Birds. In black and white. I got y'all some pecan leaves. I've got y'all some pecan leaves. You want some pecan leaves? You want some pecan leaves? Yeah, look what I got. Oh, oh. Oh, looky here, looky here. Looky, looky, looky. Good gambling. Here come them. It's so cute watching these ducks. They really are adorable. Waddling wherever they're going. Uh, no, ma'am. She's dug such a big hole. We all have already seen it. When I leave that gate open, she comes out. It doesn't matter. She she climbs she climbs over the top of that two or three times a day. If that's not open, she'll be out. And when she hears me come out that back door, all I catch is that hump where she's going back over. I don't know if there'll ever come a time where she can just live where she's supposed to live without being forced to live there. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. I need to throw that away. That's the, the pizza box, pizza oven. Isn't it adorable? I wonder how warm it is. It's been about an hour and a half. Yeah, it's completely cool. Oh, look how they burned down. Turn those out later. This can close over, or it can, you know, it'll have to stick straight up. Yeah, this is, this is one adorable little thing, and it is, I loved it. And he loved the pizza out of it. And it gives it a taste. Did y'all notice I did that during the video? Because when I had the camera sitting on this, I had this old table. I had the camera here and I was doing that pizza thing right there. And looking off that direction, it was just trashy looking. Then I have all that stuff right there that looked junky. So I took down some of the, uh, the ferns, sat them at the end of the table, put one on the stand right there. That gave me a backdrop so it didn't look so bad doing that video. And then 
I went online and ordered one of them screens to go right there that looks like that screen right there. I don't think this one has flowers on it though. That way it doesn't have to look so. Cause I have a burn pile right there. The old bathtub, that bathtub right there, claw foot tub, it's on block so the legs won't rust. Um, Tony wanted that for his bathroom in the Christmas of 2017. As Harvey came through, you know, August or first part of September, he had to gut his house out. And one of the things he took out was the tub, the garden tub in the master bath. And um, I said, you know, we can look around at some of the rehab places, like rehab for humanity, place like that. And he said, I mean, Habitat for Humanity, rehab anyway habitat places the re the re the redo re resales oh my gosh um places for bathtubs and you know it had to be a left hand or a right hand just depending you know all this kind of stuff because what you have to look for where the holes are where the drains are and he said mom i really want a claw foot tub like you had um like you have or like we had in the old house because you know the old house Buddy and Tony were still in the old house, um, not still in it during the fire, but they lived in it after it was remodeled and their bathroom had a claw foot tub. My bathroom had a claw foot tub too. Now both those tubs are used, one in our bathroom in the house and one was put in the camper house when we had to live in the camper house after the fire. That was one thing that I didn't have to go buy was a bathtub because we had two claw foot tubs. Anyway, that's what he said he wanted. So I found one online, Craigslist, went and picked it up and told him whenever he was ready, got his second floor because he needs, you know, he had to have a subfloor, especially now that his floors had had water in them at one time. I said, you have to put, but regardless of that, when you put them big cast iron tubs in there, you have to have a, a, a second floor. I said, you can't just have your subfloor. You have to build it up in your bathroom, at least under the tub. If nothing else, at least under the tub, because I don't know how good your floors are anymore. And he said he would. I, all he needed was one four by, eight sheet, four by eight sheet of plywood. And he has yet, after all these years, to bring home a sheet of plywood or come get that tub. That was his, that was his Christmas present that year. He was so happy he got it. And then that's where it sat all this time. Anyway, I've just, okay, I'm not going to say it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I love you guys. All right, I love y'all. I'm going to head in. Mosquitoes are starting to bite me, and I still need to make Molly a bottle and run out there and feed them goats. So I'm going to make her a bottle and do those things. But I will see you later. I love you guys. God bless y'all. And um, I guess I'll sometime... Oh, well, today's only Wednesday. Because I've got to do a gift some goodies for y'all on Saturday. And i got to get started on this fairy garden. And I need to get that chicken yard wrapped. And I need to get her cable moved over here. And I need to get that fence down and make a new one. i got a lot to do. I'll see you guys later. Love y'all.